Let's talk about the basic alignment of the offense here. So what we've got diagrammed on the board is we have the ball here on the wing. We have a corner player. We have a player on the opposite wing. We want our low post player to be above the marker, posting up on the first mark. And we want our high post player in the middle of the court, above the three-point line extended. This way we have created our triangles and we've got good spacing, which will force the defense to really spread out and we should be able to get the ball inside. Now, when we talk about triangles, there's basically two triangles that we're setting up with the offense. The first is a sideline triangle with our one, our five man, and our three man. Then we have a high-low triangle, which is our five man, our four man, and our one man. This gives us the spacing of the court that will allow us to not only get the ball inside, but to also be able to swing the ball and start our offense up. Against a man-to-man -man defense, there's a couple things that we really want to stress. The first is we want to reverse the ball. We want to move it from side to side and really make the defense move. The second thing is we want to set some good hard screens for our cutters, and we want that cutter to cut hard off the screen looking to score, not necessarily just cutting for cutting's sake. Okay, now let's talk about the basic pattern against a man-to-man -man defense here. We've got the ball here set up in the high-low triangle. We haven't been able to get the ball inside to five, so we're going to go ahead and reverse it and get into the continuity portion. So anytime the ball is swung from one side to the other, one making a pass to four, now we have four passing to two. Now, on the air time of the ball, which means as soon as the ball leaves the hands of four here, we want our five man to step out and to set a back screen on one's defender. And when we talk about screening, we always want to emphasize that we want to set a screen on a person with a different color jersey than us. We don't want to screen our teammate. We want to screen the defense. Now, one's going to cut off of five here if we want them to cut shoulder to shoulder and come down here into this area. Now, obviously, if one is open on that cut, we're going to get the ball there. As soon as four makes that pass, four is going to be looking for five's defender here and it's going to set a screen. Five's going to come to the top off of that screen and four is going to immediately roll towards the basketball here and we're going to obviously look inside to either hit four or to hit one on that cut. Okay, so now let's say that two's caught the ball here, one made that first cut through, one wasn't open, four set the screen, steps towards the basketball, that player's not open, five's cut to the top of the key. Notice now that we've reset the triangle now on the opposite side of the floor. If there's no pass available here, we're going to reverse it. So two's going to pass to five, we want three to go ahead and step up and fill this wing here, so five's going to now reverse to three. Again, on the pass from five to three, Four is going to step out, set a good hard screen for two. Two is going to cut to the basket. We're going to look for that cutter first. Five is going to come down, set a screen for four. Four is going to roll to the top of the key, and then five is going to step back towards the basketball. Obviously, two would continue through if he did not receive the ball there on the block. We've got our triangle here set up. We can either go inside to five here off of a slip cut, or of course, we could feed to two on that first cut. If we move the ball and we set good screens, you're going to get good shot opportunities for all of your players. Here we reverse the ball and we get our cutter coming off of the screen and get it right into him for the shot. Instead of the cutter being open, we now hit the screener stepping right back to the ball. 